with the end of 2020 fast approaching, it's officially that wonderful time of the year when we can stop, take stock of our lives, and look ahead to what 2021 holds for us, and in the case of US military personnel in close combat roles, it's a slew of new weapons and gear for a boost in engaging lethality. Here's a look ahead at some of the fresh gear soldiers and marines can expect to find in their arsenals in the coming years. The new pistols for marines. The Marine Corps finally started fielding the M18 service pistol to replace its existing arsenal of sidearms back in September, its first new pistol in nearly 35 years. A compact variant of the striker-fired M17 that the Army adopted under the modular handgun system program in 2017. The M18 will replace all other pistols in the Marine Corps inventory, including the M9, M9A1, M45A1, and M007, according to the service. New Futuristic Combat Goggles for Soldiers The Army plans on fielding its integrated visual augmentation system to soldiers, starting in the fiscal year 2021, despite potential delays posed by the spread of the novel coronavirus. Build on Microsoft's whole ends technology, the futuristic goggles will provide soldiers with enhanced capabilities, ranging from rapid target acquisition to surveillance and reconnaissance, in the form of a ruggedized heads-up display. New Suppressors for Marines As task and purpose previously reported, Marine grunts in close combat formations will start receiving 5.56 small arm suppressors from Knight's Armament Company, for use on the Corps' arsenal of M27 infantry automatic rifles, M4 carbines, and M4A1 close quarter battle weapons, in fiscal year 2021. As a Marine Corps Systems Command spokesman said at the time, the service's intent is to posture our Marines with capability now, in order to improve the lethality of our Marine Corps close combat forces. New Sniper Rifles for Soldiers and Marines both the Army and Marine Corps included the multi-role adaptive design bolt-action sniper rifle from Barrett Firearms, in their respective budget requests for fiscal year 2021, which is tucked into the defense budget bill currently winding its way through the U.S. government. While well, deliveries of the multi-role adaptive design as the MK-22 will commence for U.S. Special Operations Command under its Advanced Sniper Rifle Program in January 2021. It's likely these specialized rifles might end up filtering down to conventional forces for testing and training over the next year. New Grenade Launchers for Marines Years after the Army first adopted its new bloopers, the Marine Corps finally fielded its new M320A1 grenade launcher to grunts at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, back in March of this year, part of the service's push to equip all infantry units with a side-loading 40mm weapon in the fiscal year 2021. Civilians have rocked the system and battlefield for the last decade. Lighter Body Armor for Marines the Marine Corps in April began fielding the new 25% lighter plate carrier Generation 3, the grunts ahead of a push to reach full operational capability for the new vest by fiscal year 2023. The system improves the Marine's ability to shoot and move by eliminating excess bulk from the design and cutting out the shoulders for a better rifle stock weld, according to the service. A next-generation squad weapon for soldiers. Not likely, although the Army has for more than a year been testing prototypes from General Dynamics OTS, AAI Corporation Textron Systems, and SIG SAR for new 6.8mm carbine and automatic rifle systems to replace the M4 carbine and M249 squad automatic weapon. The service still doesn't plan on actually downselecting a final group of systems and fielding them to soldiers until at least 2022.
Just over the right shoulder. Get her, Eddie. Bend it. Bend it. Over the right edge. Point left. Point one. Hit. Fire when ready. Right. 